Why is high impact presentations at Dale Carnegie so effective? <laughs> 55% of communication is nonverbal. 38% is how you say it in the tone. And 7% is actually the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Why do we need high impact presentations? Well, Mr. Scher presented us with fine information that 3% of presentations are actually good which means 97%, Simon, you can help me with the math, 97% suck. <laughs> They're bad. They're boring. So the reason why we need high impact presentations is three key areas that I'm going to highlight today. And the first is the smile. <laughs> why is the smile so effective when you're giving a presentation? Because the smile, Amanda, is the window to the soul. When you smile and you're presenting on stage, it connects with the audience. When you don't smile, the key to creating a relationship with people in the audience is comfort. And when we don't smile, Adam, it's not very comfortable. <laughs> Look at the big smile. Oh my god! Oh jeez! The second key point to high impact presentations is highlighted by Joey and Simon. High impact presentations need energy. You need a feeling. Why? Without the energy on stage, it doesn't attract people. They get bored. VNA, they get bored. They sit there like, is Freddie done yet? This is boring. <laughs> but when the energy's there, and I just moved off of my square, uh-oh, <laughs> danger, danger, I move off of the square. When the energy's there, you can really connect with people, and they're not boring. And Joey and Simon did a really good job at that. You guys have really increased energy from here. Uh, I'm Joey. Hey, you know, and you're, you, you brought the energy, and it brings it alive, and we can connect with that. The third key point to why we need high-impact presentations is what it's all about. And you know who had what it's all about? Mr. Adam. Mr. Adam lit it up when he gave that presentation, and I can't wait for your fifth one, with the three fingers. You could feel the three fingers. It was like, ow, like I just lost my fingers. Like the blood is dripping. <laughs> that nonverbal brought us in and we could be captivated and inspired because before you were anxiety and just, ugh, it was stressful. But when you really became alive, we could feel the power in you and connect with you. So when we put the smile and all the nonverbal and the tone together, we find the value of high impact presentations. And the value is by Harry Beckworth. He wrote a book called You Inc. He said, people buy feelings. The way you're able to make somebody feel on stage through high impact presentations is the power of moving somebody and inspiring somebody to action. Okay. Thank you. All right, Freddie.